Hi everyone, I'm Claire and at the National Space Centre we are celebrating Solar System Week. And we are on to our giants, starting with our first gas giant, Jupiter. It's the largest planet in the solar system and it's named after the king of the Roman gods. More than 1,300 Earths would fit inside of it. It's made of 90% hydrogen, 10% helium and a few other things. It's the third brightest object in the solar system. If you have some binoculars or a telescope, you might get to make out some of its larger moons. Its weather is cold and windy, and it has amazing cloud structures of ammonia and water on its surface. Scientists aren't exactly sure what's beneath it all, but the further you go down, the hotter and more pressurised it gets, turning hydrogen from a gas to a liquid. It's not able to support life, but some of its 79 moons might have what it takes. Europa is one of those moons. Scientists believe there might be an ocean under its icy surface. And in a few years' time, hopefully NASA's mission Clipper will launch to find out more. Nine spacecraft have visited the planet. Seven have flown by and two have orbited. Juno arrived in 2016 and it's now been extended to 2021. These spacecraft have been able to observe the giant red spot, a huge storm that's been raging on Jupiter's surface for at least 350 years. You could fit around three planet Earths inside the storm, and it goes anti-clockwise around the planet. And there we have Jupiter, with its own giant red spot. And next up we have Saturn. 